All right, Somebody to Love, the chorus. This particular chorus is used the first and the third time. The second chorus is just slightly different. And then the fourth chorus uh, you're pretty, you're, you, is, is also different. Okay, let's leave it at that. So the first one I'm going to show you, this is used for the first and third time. So again, uh, I'm only going to talk about the chords that are new. Okay? So you got A flat, you know, um, can anybody find, uh, I forget what the words are here. Uh, prison cell, blah, 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 blah. so anyway, it's an A flat, I can't remember. So A flat. Can anybody? So that's A flat to the E flat with the G in the bass, C F minor seven again, D flat major nine. Now this new chord, uh, we're gonna go is an E flat eleven. So uh, let's see, fifth string sixth fret, third string sixth fret, second string sixth fret, first string fourth fret. Okay, so I use my two, three, and four. And then my one is on the one string. Okay, and he goes, dun, dun, somebody to love. Okay, so that first part is A flat. And you could do different rhythms. You could go, and then anybody find a D flat major nine to the E flat 11, someone to love. And then this next part is. flat I'm gonna move up to the fifth string 11th fret and then the four three and two strings at the 13th fret for a measure and then I'm gonna reach back with my first finger leave this guy right here reach back to the G and the bass nice and then that leads to the F minor 7 to the D flat chord to the E flat chord okay and that's your chorus so I'm gonna play the whole chorus now so So that's, so now chorus two is only slightly different. I'm just going to play through it without talking about it. So all that, that one is, is... And then they just stay on the A flat. This leads right to the bridge, which we're going to talk about right now. I've already gone over this part in the first video. And then the G flat five. Make it a minor. B flat five. E flat. Then he moves it up half step. So that's a D flat five, fifth string, fourth fret, four and three strings at the sixth fret. He's doing a palm mute, like that, okay? And again, this is in detail, I go over this in the first video with the guitar solo, okay? Okay, and eventually he goes to the G flat five, which is the sixth string, second fret, fifth string and fourth string at the fourth fret. He does that a couple times. Then he bars the second string to get the minor sound. And then uh, back to the B flat five, which is the sixth string, sixth fret, fifth and fourth string at the eighth fret. And then doom, 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 doom. then the E flat chord, which you already know. He goes down. And he moves it up half step. And then the guitar solo comes in. Okay? All right, that's that. All right, somebody to love. The last chorus is the one where the guitars just sitting out and they're going, "Find me somebody to love." So uh, it's mostly a cappella, but you know the drums and the bass enters around measure eleven of that section. The guitar is out for twenty-five measures, so you're just kind of hanging out doing nothing, and then you come back in when he goes, you know, and, and can anybody find me? And then. 
you already know, you've done that many times. It's an A flat to the E flat with the G in the bass, the F minor 7, the D flat major 9, and then the E flat 11. Okay? That's it for the chorus 4. So you're just in at the end of it. Then the outro is, uh, you've already played this part too, it's a little bit different. It's an A flat up here with the G in the bass, the F minor 7, and then D flat to E flat. So the difference is the rhythm here. The D flat is not a whole measure, and the E flat is not a whole measure. They share a measure. So two, three, one, two, three. And they play it seven times in a row. And then that's it. We play it right. Play it seven times in a row, and then you're out, and the piano does some far out stuff while well, he's you know find me find me find me and that's it for somebody to love I hope that helps that was a lot of work <laughs> to figure out what the piano was doing uh, those are some jazzy chords so uh, I'm also going to do another video where I show you how to make this kind of like a folk version where you just play an acoustic and strum in, in a, with a capo in a different key so look for that one uh, if you're interested. I'm going to do that in the key of G with a capo. It'll still be an A flat, but you won't have all the... the chords will be... it'll be a little bit more simple, okay? Uh, but still, a lot of work. Alright, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and uh, play more Queen.